Good morning, St. Stephen's College. One of the central ideas over the entire course of the assemblies has been to inculcate the fundamental habit of thinking. Our most respected principal has concentrated his efforts into instilling this rare gift into our preoccupied minds. But we may have taken his words lightly. Because thinking is so common a word and so routine a practice that there seems to be nothing much to think about it. But no, thinking is not just the mere consultation of logic to make simple everyday decisions. That is not thinking in the depth of its intellectual odyssey. Thinking is to be able to lend the mind here to the world around you and fill a book with the secrets it can whisper. It is when wonder is no longer a rarity in your life. A prolific thinker is always in a state where no aspect of his surroundings escapes the faculties of his mind. It is the wisdom that tells you to pull apart the curtains and glance at truth, or even explore deeper in search for it. And it becomes beautiful, it becomes an art when it can brew magic, when its expression can inspire millions. When every word becomes a spell cast by a magic wand waved in a beautiful mind. That is the elegance and strength of thinking. It is the most profound capacity of the human intellect. And ideas spread. The best way to set fire to a brain is to ignite it with a thought. The greatest of ideas, every revolution in mankind, has witnessed the silencing beauty of a powerful thought. Why is it then? Why is it that we are moved by courts? inspired by magnificent oratory. It is because behind the brilliance of words, there stands an equally brilliant idea, a thought that strikes us and evokes the true spirit of a colorful imagination. In that case, why just let someone else win hearts? Why just let someone else showcase the brilliance of the human mind? Why not have an entire perspective of your own? Why? only be inspired and not inspire the world around you. We must learn to think strongly about everything that we experience. This habit is stunted in us today. We submissively ex accept everything that we are exposed to. Why do you think in a certain way? Because you read it in a meme? Because of the weight of trend? See, this is why we judge people and situations superficially. Very few are just are inspired to let their mind flow and enjoy whatever insane creativity follows. We do a great disservice to the infinite potential of our intellect when we do not unleash it to travel into everything it sees. You see, uh, confining the capacity of the mind is like painting a rainbow black and white. This morning I have not used coats because I believe in a coat of my own. This is where you, my patient audience, take leave of me, hopefully with the tendency to think everything about everything. Thank you.